that they can do it. But this is what I wanted, Bubba Smithy. We got the Caitlyn from Deft, a champion that he's always been able to land. Well. Damn. Jarvan is huge, and the bubble is going to land. There's the flash after the net. Is it going to be enough? The answer's a hell no, as Tucson gets slam dunked on the bottom side. That's a synergy or scaling there on how it works mid lane. Yep, that's going to be the trouble bubble landing, but it doesn't matter as our Kuz gets on out. And that's a really his famous picks in the 1v1. Yeah, absolutely. This time around, Clid is once again going to have that control on the top side, Kuz. Coming on in, trying to make use of the fact that Marta did recently use his flash, but hadn't used his stopwatch. His pawn comes on down, and the flash is used, but it's just not enough. Chaos Storm is going to definitely... And you're like, I'm Fiora, how you doing? I'm liking the Fiora in the match. Yep, Rascal. Gonna come back in there as he picks up the ult. But uh, he's gonna be too worried about it. And start off the Infernal, it just looks like Kingzone will have to give this one up. Just take too much damage here. I have to leave because this turret is well and truly being taken. He can't do anything. He doesn't have the range, but she does well. That's scary. Speaking of scary. Yep, Abyssal Voyage is going to come in because, oh no. Oh, he's done. Yeah, didn't see that one as Cell Division is going to come in, but they're going to divide him very, very quickly. A couple of teleports were available, but they would have just died as well. Rascal has no options. 850 gold farm bounty. Remember that farm bounties were tweaked previously if you died. Hydra already completed, which is just bonkers. Third Drake goes down very, very easily. The full oomph of this Fiora. It'll be just amazing to watch. I just don't know whether you will, Papa Smithy, because uh, he's on the bottom side doing battle Does with Rascal. Does he dare to ultimate? I need to see it. As uh, man, the ultimate's actually been stolen. Here we go. Now it's finally going to be traded back. We can see it picture in picture. I don't know why we're not just watching it. The turret there was doing a big number there. Yeah. On And there's a lot of disengage available. So sadly, you don't see the full on. That was a tease. Yeah, Teddy's going to move on forward. I know depth. the observer. I'm going to give him a bit of lip <laughs> after this. Yeah, why did we only get it in the picture in picture? That's the frustrating part. Is Unbreakable does land. Uh, but yeah, when a W lands, uh, Dev can't really go in. It's okay, cuz. He's looking for it. Headbonk does come back as Teddy's in trouble. Has to arcade shift uh -oh. to get out, and Marta does fall down as well. Most likely, as Deft is able to grab a couple of kills. Faker comes in, but it's a little bit too late. And Clid, what can he actually do here? Unbreakable down, Clid's gonna get stunned up eventually. Good vision available as they get rid of the Zack, and it's just not enough. Unfortunately, they're just too far ahead. Cataclysm gonna be used by Rascal. This pawn gets on over. Portal jump, can he do it? The answer is yes on Rascal's side as Clid gets out. And pawn's able to do battle, but in the meantime, Game's Bubba Smithy, yeah, Khan's just gonna win the game. All right, Recall comes in. Can Rascal do anything? Oh, not up on the Fiora, so has to be a bit more respectful here, but the chase isn't going to happen. Yeah, it doesn't find the chain. Check that term a lot. Is it back? Oh! <laughs> Man, that takes some stones just to hold onto the back right there. The only bad thing in all of that. Just going to lie and wait for a moment. Yeah, they haven't actually checked this one. Is there's the Abyssal Voyage. Mart is going to get the delivery, and yeah, Khan's just going to win the game. Yeah, I feel like that's going to be what we say after almost everything here as Rascal has to flash to get himself onto his base depth, trying to move on over. And and he he might actually can. just do it by himself. Repost does come in eventually. Khan is going to die, but that's a Baron for free over and there, SKT. The number was four, Atlas, with three <laughs> there. You <laughs> thought, you believed it could happen. The game doesn't end, but the Baron will come in anyway. The global taunt is real. I don't think the bounty is going to be enough to dissuade it. Still 474 gold bounty after the thousand is Baker. Because Banshee's sure. Veil protects him from everything. And oh, Baker, no. that is a brawn. Okay. He get kills. So he got like a 0.7 KDA. Yeah. With loads of victories. Well, Kuz going to go for the last ditch effort. Wants to find this one, but the flash is going to be used by Marta, and that means Teddy is going to be a okay. Pawn has a Chaos Storm down, oh. but remember, this is a Nexus that's just open. And another dead blob man on the bottom side. Pawn has a shield, but will he have his life? As Khan's just going to dive on forward, just decides that maybe he wants to get a kill here on the back end. Braum falls down, Deft immediately follows. As Kingzone, that's going to be it. They can't offer anything back. Teddy fighting out against Pawn, but uh, eventually the Nexus will just be auto-attacked and taken out. SKT. They fight back from a game one loss, and in the end, it's the reverse sweep. They introduce the Karma Bands. They try to make the game less about the Frost Manty, less about the wards. And I think it pays off in dividends. SKT much stronger in game number two and three needed to be. Kingzone had some really good ideas in the first game, but it felt like their first magic trick was a 
take your breath away kind of thing, but when the full set hit, it felt like the fourth, the fifth, the sixth trick didn't have the same reverberation around the crowd. The oohs and the ahs were gone, and what yeah. was left but a 2-1 loss. The side of Kings Zones, congratulations for SKT. They needed this. They did. They After did. the long break to come in strong. And question we've been asking is, who is the second best team in Korea? And we can't know the answer today. Sandbox deserves the benefit.